Hello. In this presentation, we will be learning how to determine the natural frequencies and mode shapes of a shear building. For this example, the columns are fixed at the base. We'll use the standard shear building assumptions, which are that all of the mass is concentrated at the floors, and the floors are rigid so that the columns do not rotate at the ends. A shear building has one degree of freedom per floor, so the first floor will have a displacement of U1 of T. The second floor will have displacement U2 of T, and the third floor is U3 of T. There is also a force corresponding to each floor. So we have P1 of T, P2 of T, and P3 of T. For simplicity, in this example, we'll assume that each story has the same height, and that all of the columns have the same stiffness based on modulus of elasticity E and moment of inertia I. In previous lessons, we've learned how to derive the equation of motion for this model, which looks like this, a matrix equation. The first matrix here is the mass matrix, and this is the stiffness matrix. You can use the mass and stiffness matrices to determine what the natural frequencies and mode shapes are for the building. Your textbook does this using equation 10.2.6 on page 405. By taking the determinant of the expression k minus omega n squared times m, and then setting that equal to zero, and solving for omega n, you can find the natural frequencies. And there are examples in the book that show this. Then, using the natural frequencies, you can solve for the mode shapes. Today I want to show you a little easier way to do this using software. To do this, let's back up a little bit in the textbook to equation 10.2.4. I've slightly modified it here by moving the omega n term to the other side of the mass matrix. Multiplying both sides by the inverse of m gives this. Now, if we define the term inverse of m times k as a matrix A, and the scalar omega n squared we'll define as lambda n, that leads to this equation, which is a classical mathematical expression. Notice what this equation is telling us. We can multiply the matrix A by a vector Vn, and that will equal a scalar lambda n times the same vector. This equation is so common that names have been given to different parts of the equation. Lambda n is called the eigenvalue, and phi n is called the eigenvector. The eigenvector and eigenvalues are properties of the matrix A. That is, given a square matrix A, you can find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. This equation finds many applications throughout the sciences, one of which is particularly important for structural engineering in that it helps us to find the mode shapes and frequencies, which is what I will be doing in the next part of this presentation where, we'll be using to, where we will be using software to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix A.